Living with an invisible disability, I would describe it as both lonely and liberating at the same time. I have Crohn's disease and I now live with a permanent stoma bag. Because of my Crohn's disease, I've had around 15 surgeries. A stoma bag is where your intestine is pulled through the side of your stomach and um, a bag is placed over it and that's kind of what collects your faeces, that's how you go to the toilet. Crohn's disease is chronic inflammation of your gut. So before I'd had any surgery, it was living with the symptoms which were completely debilitating. I mean, I was trying to work full time, but I was also going to the toilet 25 times a day. Living in London with an invisible illness, I struggle with not having access to toilets on public transport. I struggle with having to kind of sometimes go into cafes and shops and say, can I please use the toilet? And you know, there's nothing seemingly wrong with me if you look at me from the outside. In London, over 69,000 people have inflammatory bowel disease. And some people say the lack of toilets is the worst thing about living in the capital. I don't think anyone should have to prove how disabled they are. Everyone can look at me and say, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you, you're completely healthy. But actually, on the inside, I'm not. And I've had massive health struggles in my life. So I think you do need to break down those barriers and open up these conversations where we talk about invisible illnesses such as Crohn's disease, because otherwise people wouldn't even know they existed. The charity Crohn's and Colitis UK issues special cards to help its members access toilets in public places. I wouldn't say that my condition has stopped me. It has definitely put some bumps along the way. It's given me a determination to prove to myself that I can do this and I've achieved everything I wanted to achieve, regardless of whether I have Crohn's disease or not.